my first year out in professional rodeo, you know, I just kind of tried to get my feet wet a little bit, and man, they kicked my butt. That's when, uh, you know, I learned some of my biggest lessons in, in rodeo, and that was with Roy Cooper. You know, I'd looked up, I looked up to so many different people in this sport. I mean, Roy Cooper took me at a stage to where I felt like I roped good enough. He helped me fill in the missing piece of the puzzle, which was confidence. And I don't care what sport you're in, confidence plays as big a role as talent ever did. I'm, I'm a firm believer in uh, successful plan A's come from not having a plan B. You know, and that's that's the way I was, you know, and, and uh, you know, I came from limited resources, so to speak, in this industry, and uh, there wasn't really a backup plan, or there wasn't a second chance even, so that's why I, I didn't just have one mentor, you know, I tried to learn from everybody else's mistakes, you know, and I, and I was, I was a student of the game, and I saw, you know, this guy and what he did good, and this guy and what he did good, and I tried to make, you know, pick out those strengths and kind of, you know, make my own style out of it all. Being a professional cowboy and winning world championships is, you know, what I do, but it doesn't define who I am, you know, as a person. And I think as long as I can keep everything in perspective, as, as far as the big picture, the way I'm supposed to, I won't ever have an empty championship. My initial thought of the American is, you know, this is one of those events that everybody remember will remember where they are, you know, when they heard about the American or when they saw the American, you know, it's, it's one of those things that's going to revolutionize the sport. At AT&T Stadium, I think it's going to be great because, because of the, the sheer number of fans that are going to be there. I mean, for the competitors as well as the fans, I think they're going to be able to see the best rodeo that rodeo has to offer because of the excitement that it brings, because it translates to the arena, you know. That energy, you know, from the fans, and that translates to adrenaline, and adrenaline translates to the best performances that hopefully those fans will have ever seen and best performances that the Cowboys will have ever put out there. It's kind of an event of the purest. I mean, a winner take all. I mean, they pay second, but nobody's going for second. Second's gonna be a consolation, you know, for the guy that didn't win it. Well, I mean, that's what's so exciting about the American is this is the first time, I mean, nobody knows. I know what world championships can do for you, you know, and it's exciting to see, you know, the opportunities that that the American, you know, has to offer the sport. But to win the American against the the group of cowboys that are gonna be there at the venue it's gonna be at, at the stage, you know, that it's gonna be set at, it's gonna be monumental.